Hi everyone, my name is Tasha, Latasha, <laughs> and welcome to my channel, and if you're new then hey. Um, today I have a very exciting video for you. So this is my first time trying Vinted. Now I've never used it before, but um, recently I started selling some of my things on there, some thrifted fails, um, and it's just some old clothes that I used to have and I never wore anymore. So I actually started selling my things on there, and with the money I made from the sales of my things, I bought some things. So I think everything I ordered has arrived, maybe one or two other things, I don't know. Um, but I thought I would share them with you. So I'll put my um, th uh, vintage name here and link it in the description. So if you want to go check out what items I'm getting rid of, then you know, they're there. Um, but I found, hello, I found quite a few bits. So they've all, I think they've arrived. Let's go through them, shall we? Let's see. So vintage is pretty much like, charity shopping online it you find things on there for a pound like so cheap you do have to pay the postage but by the time you've paid the postage it's kind of like charity shop prices like my regular charity shop items here in this town is between like three pounds and ten pounds it's it varies it's somewhere in there um, and all of this is around the same mark after you pay postage but you can do bundles on um, if you like a lot of things from one person, one seller, you can actually create bundles and then you get discounts off these bundles and then you obviously just pay one lot of shipping. So it's quite good. Um, they have a lot of fashionable things on there. Um, not sponsored or anything, I just thought that this would be a fun video idea. So let's get into the vintage haul. Okay. Cool. What do we have? I have all these parcels laid out in front of me. <laughs> um, you feel really far away today, so I'm sorry about that. but. So first off, I have this waistcoat here. This is by f f which I believe is Tesco. It's a grey pinstripe, uh, size 14. So um, I actually got this one because I wanted this black one and she was selling them as a set. Um, so here it is there. So I will put what I paid for it in the corner of the video. Um, and then you'll know, because I can't remember the prices of everything. So um, I'll pop it there and you'll be able to see. But I really wanted this black waistcoat. Now, I've been wanting a waistcoat for ages. I used to have one. Um, and then it was a size 8. And obviously, I'm not a size 8 anymore. So I, I got rid of it. But now I have two. I've got a black one and a grey one. Um, I absolutely love them. I'll obviously, I'll try everything on for you so you can see what it all looks like on me. Um, but yeah, I got two waistcoats. So... There's my first items. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I don't, I've just put it on by itself. Um, I probably would wear some sort of um, like lacy bralette or something here, so it wasn't so open. Um, but here it is, so that is actually my belly <laughs> that you can see there. Uh, but this is kind of like what I had envisioned, uh, what I wanted. Um, I might put in like a little clip right there, so it's, because it's got all this and arms, I don't necessarily need this little peekaboo either. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like exactly what I wanted. So it's, um, obviously, oh, you can see my bra strap at the back there, it's a bit annoying, but um, yeah, I thought that like, this is just, this is what I wanted, I, I don't know. I thought if you were going like out for some drinks or something, like an all black outfit, some black heeled boots, um, and then just like, a waistcoat like you know uh, or you could wear this you could wear a black top underneath this as well and have this on top because it brings you in like at your smallest point at the waist there is actually a part at the back here where you can bring it in even more which I will probably do just so it's really really pulled in um, but yeah I really like it this is exactly what I wanted and I've been wanting one of these for years and years and I just I just haven't I just haven't been and got one. Um, I think it's cute. What do we think? A bit revealing, um, obviously, but like I say, I would I would have something here. I just didn't have anything down, I'm downstairs. So I didn't have anything downstairs to put on with it. Um, but I think it's nice. It shows off my arms and obviously I've got all my um, tattoos and stuff. So it shows off all of those. I feel really good in this. So there you go. This is the first one and then I'll try on the grey one as well. Okay, so here is the grey one. Now, 
I never thought about having a grey one. I didn't want a grey one. It wasn't on my like, you know, bucket list of things that I want to buy. Uh, but I like this. Like, what do we think? And the back has got like the pull straight, the things here to tighten it. Um, I don't ever wear grey, but I feel like this is nice. Like, what do we think? You know, just to like wear to a pub or something. Like, I think it's really cool. Um, it fits really nice. These are fake pockets. I feel like this one fit is a bit bigger than the black one. Like it seems to cover more. Um, but they're the same brand. They're the same, I think they're the same waistcoat. Oh no, they're different waistcoats because this part of the back is different on them both. So they are different waistcoats. Uh, but I feel like this one's a bit more modest. Like here seems a lot wider, more modest, but. <laughs> Here seems a lot wider, um, and then I feel like it definitely does, it is longer down here, it covers more down here. Um, so obviously people buy these for work, don't they? Um, like I used to work in um, five, a five star hotel in York and we used to have to wear one of these. Um, I think this is nice, I like it and I don't wear gray. I'm happy with my purchase. Okay, next up, let's go for this one here. Okay, so this one was a new item with tags and it was originally £12.50 and it's just a little um, like strappy cami top, which I thought was really, really cute. It's a size 14 um, and I'll again, I'll pop what I paid for it on there. I think it was £4. Um, but it's got sunflowers on it, so I thought that was really, really cute. Okay, so for this one, you would definitely need to think about what bra you're going to wear because you can see the straps like that. Um, so you got to think about that. But uh, this one was new with tags. It was originally twelve pound fifty from George, and I think I got it for four pounds. Um, I think it's so cute. Look at this. I if you have been here for a while, you know I love sunflowers and stuff, like flowers, summery flowers, that sort of stuff. Um, these are kind of like daisies in there, there's like little white ones, and then these I think are sunflowers, maybe? Um, but I think it's so cute, like, I don't know, the shape of it's really flattering, it has like this little bow here, oh it's got a cutout, didn't know that, uh, it's got a little cutout right there. Um, and it's kind of like flowy at the bottom, tight at the top. But I just think it's really nice, like a really nice shape. Um, I think it's really cute. Like imagine this with like a little skirt in the summer or like some lighter colored jeans or something. I think it's adorable. Okay, so next up I got um, this little, it's like a belt. So this is actually, it was a size 18, it was a plus size belt. Um, however, it fits quite well and if not I can take in one of the seams and stitch it a bit smaller for me. So it pulls me in a little bit. But I've been wanting one of these for ages, for so long. It's like the corset style belt. So that was that one. Okay, so. Here we have the uh, corset style belt. So as you can see, it's not like drawing me in at all because it's obviously it's a few sizes too big, but um, I could very well take it in and then it would be more like this. Um, but I quite like it, like the way it is quite loose. Uh, obviously it's quite a wide belt, um, but you could easily just pull it up and make it smaller. Uh, obviously I wouldn't wear it with this top but with like an all black long sleeved one I think would look really really good. Uh, I like it. What do we think? It's just like a, like a leather effect. Um, I like that you can see the little peekaboo through there. Um, but I, yeah, I think it's really cute. In this next parcel I have so this one I got as a bundle, it was a set of three. Um, and so I saw this green top and I really, really liked it, it's that way. So this is by the brand Papaya. Um, it's green, it's got like little buttons here on the front and the back and it's got a little peplum. But I absolutely loved the colour, I thought it was beautiful. 
um, and they also had it in red so I got both of those um, from the same person as a bundle so I got green and red looking very Christmassy over here but I just really liked the peplum detail I thought that that was really nice okay so I stand back for this one um, here it is the green so I thought this was in mind would like to go with my hair thought that they'd you know orange and green go quite nice um, I don't know how flattering it is though like does it is this flattering or does this make me look really wide like here because it's like the frills come out on my hips um i like really like the little button detail that they've got here and i believe it's on the back as well yeah um but yeah what do we think about this one so i've also got it in red ow <laughs> um I just thought for summer, like with some blue jeans, um, some really simple like slip on shoes, for, like going to do the school run and stuff. I just thought this would be so comfortable and easy to just like put on and not even worry about it. Like it's just flowy and I love the color of it. I think the color is great. So I feel like this red is coming up so bright on the camera. Um, it is kind of like an orange toned red, but it, it looks more neon on there than it does in person. Um, but I like, I actually think I like this one more than the green one. It's the same top, it's the same size. Um, but I just, I don't know, I feel like this one suits me better. Let me know what you think. Um, I feel like it looks a little bit more flattering in the red. And um, yeah, I don't know, it just seems to fit a di bit differently. But yeah. Let me know what you think about these little peplum style tops in the comments. I just think they're like nice, easy, effortless, like, cute. And also from her, I found this. It is a denim dungaree style dress, um, but it's got pockets. Like there's pockets in here. How cool is that? And it's like a really worn in denim. I thought it was really, really cool. Um, obviously I'll have to try it on and see how it fits, but um, it's got like one pocket here, but it's like the dungaree style. So really, really nice. I'm really happy with that. Excuse all the junk you can see from my kitchen. Um, here is the dungaree dress. So obviously I've still got my jeans on and everything else. Um, and I've got the sunflower top on underneath. Um, but here it is, nice big pocket right there. And yeah, it's just like fitted on the bottom as you can see. Uh, it's just like fitted and it's got nice pockets now usually with these denim dresses like they don't give you pockets on the side like this so I think that's quite cool I really like that um it's nice length on me as well and I think with the right like a t-shirt little t-shirt underneath it I think like, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this in summer um I love the the wash of the denim I think it's a really nice sort of light blue but not too light um yeah Cute. I bought a scarf. You guys know how I love scarves. Now this one is really big. It's kind of like a shawls type of scarf, but I thought that it'd be nice to throw over the end of my bed and use it as like a, um, what are they called? Like a little bed throw. You know, there's a name for them. Um, but that is this one and it's all neutral tones. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's a lovely um, soft fabric. Um, it kind of looks like one of those old fashioned carpets, um, the rugs, you know, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so we're getting like a bit of a mismatch of things here. I've got this top on, these dungarees, <laughs> and I'm going to try this scarf on. So, I did buy this with the intention of it going like on my bed or something. So, here we go. Um, but you never know, I might love it and wear it in per- yeah, I love it. Um, so I might wear it as a scarf. Um, I love the colours, so it's a really long scarf as well, like it comes right down here. Um, it's really nice fabric, I think it goes really good with um, my complexion and stuff. So, yeah. And in this bag here, which I haven't even seen this yet, I haven't even opened them. So, oh, let's rip that open. These are some boots from Next. Now, they are a size seven, which is my size. Um, and here they are. So, if you can see them there. They are black with a buckle and a brown heel. And I just thought that they looked quite posh. Not posh, but like, 
I don't know, expensive because they were black with a brown heel on it. I thought that they looked really, really nice. So, and I'm always looking for new boots because I wear the same pair every single day. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about those. 100% my style. Um, let me see if they fit. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I didn't really know how to show these, so um, I have it on my leg. <laughs> um, really, really comfy, really good quality boots. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with them actually. Very cute. They come up a lot higher than I thought they would, but I like that. Um, but yeah, so that is actually everything in my vintage haul. Um, if you did like it, then please do like the video and consider subscribing. Let me know in the comments what your favourite thing was out of this haul. Um, and if you're going to give Vinted a try. Uh, I actually sold £60 so far worth of my old clothes that I would have donated otherwise. Um, and so I was able to buy all of this stuff for no extra cost to me because I sold stuff to get the money to buy this stuff. And I still have something like £19 on my Vinted account, which is really cool. So yeah, um, if you did enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.